Hey everyone, if you have been wondering whether or not to install watchOS 26 on your Apple Watch, this video is for you. I was in the same position when Apple announced watchOS 26 at WWDC. My Apple Watch Series 6 is already 5 years old and I was worried the new update, especially with the liquid glass design, might slow it down or make the interface unusable. To my surprise, the Series 6 runs watchOS 26 like a champ. It handles the new liquid glass design, the fresh watch faces and everyday tasks just as smoothly if not better than it did on watchOS 11. Of course, compared to newer models, the Series 6 might show its age. But if you have been using this watch for years and want to keep it going, you can confidently update to watchOS 26 without hesitation. In this update, users get access to three new watch faces, each of which adds a unique look to the watch. WatchOS 26 brings the Notes app from your iPhone to the Apple Watch. This means you can now create new notes right on your watch. You can use scribble feature or dictate what you want to add in your note and tap on a done button. All your notes will be synced to your iPhone automatically. Apple Watch Series 6 is the oldest model in Apple's lineup that has received the WatchOS 26 update. The update is not limited to small changes either as it brings several new features to the Apple Watch. The workout app has also been redesigned and now features a fresh new look along with the new workout buddy that celebrates milestones with you and helps keep you motivated. So that was our look at WatchOS 26 running on Apple Watch Series 6. As you have seen, this update not only refreshes the overall look and feel of the interface but also adds useful new features that make upgrading absolutely worth it. The fact that a 5-year-old Series 6 handles it so well should be reassuring, not just for Series 6 owners but also for anyone with a newer Apple Watch who's debating the update. If you found this video helpful, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Apple Watch and iOS content. And let us know in the comments, are you updating to WatchOS 26 or are you sticking with your current version? I would love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching.